The acromioclavicular joint is very superficial and injections are typically straightforward. The most common reason for injection is pain due to osteoarthritis, but the joint can also be involved in a variety of other inflammatory arthropathies. The acromioclavicular joint can be felt as a groove just where the clavicle meets the acromion process. Using the tip of your thumb, palpate the joint space and use a retractable pen to mark the point of injection. These injections should always be done using sterile technique. Scrub the site and then clean in an outward fashion. Here I am using a mixture of 2% chlorhexidine with 70% isopropyl alcohol. Alternatively, you can use providing solution followed by alcohol. Local anesthetic can be applied to the skin and subcutaneous tissue using a 25 gauge needle, but this may be bypassed as infiltration of the anesthetic may be just as painful and would mean two needle sticks for the patient. Here I have a mixture of 20 mg of Depometrol mixed with 2% xylocaine to a volume of 1 mL and I am using a 25 gauge 5 8 inch needle. Advance the needle through your point, direct it inferiorly and posteriorly just until resistance is encountered. Always aspirate to ensure you're not in a blood vessel. Then inject the solution. This should go in fairly freely, but may be tense compared to other joints as the AC joint is rather small. If there is marked resistance, you may have hit the intraarticular disc and you should withdraw the needle slightly. Finish off by drying the site and applying a bandage.